Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in a very simple way. Poisonous prophet. Poisonous prophet. That is profit that will introduce poison. That is gain that is going to introduce poison. Many years ago, I had the uh, privilege of uh, visiting a friend's father who was in prison and uh, I went with a friend to go visit the father somewhere outside this country and then I saw the father coming out and the father you know in his prison ro uh, garment or gaps and um, you know came and sat down and he was looking and talking with his son and we were allowed to you know sit by him it was like a family visit so we sat by him and was talking and then he just looked at his son, just when we're about to leave, and said, Son, whatever you do, make sure you don't end up here. This is not a place to be. Now, when we're leaving, we're all quiet. And as we sat in the car, as he was driving me away, we were all quiet. Why? Because this man was, one, this man was famous. He was so rich. I mean, he was, he, his, his name was a household name. I mean, wealth is what? But all this wealth were, were gained through corruptive act or corruption. All these things were gained through, through very dirty things, underhand dealings, briberies, and all those other things. Corruption was the bread or the table that he sat by. He was eating the bread of corruption and eating it, I mean, massively, and can I just say very greedily. And one way or the other, my friend died, and his dad too died, because my friend was much more older than me. But you know, one of the things is this. With all that he got, with all the wealth, with all the things that he, and for him to end up at that place, corruption doesn't pay. Greed doesn't pay. Greed would offer you, you see the thing, and it would offer you opportunities. Corruption offers people opportunities. But remember, the when finally the law catches up, the long arm of the law catches up with you, what's going to happen? Your children are going to be the people walking in shame. They will be paying the price of shame. Proverbs 15, 27 says something that is very, very powerful. And I like to read Proverbs 15, 27. See what it says. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house. So listen to this. When the temptation to walk the pathway of corruption, when the temptation to walk the pathway of greed, don't only think about yourself, think about your house. Because finally, every member of your household is going to be invited to the table of shame, to eat the bread of shame, even though they did nothing wrong. It is so sad. It is so sad. But you are not the only person who bears the, who pays uh, for, uh, for the consequences, the price of the consequences of your, of your misdemeanors or your corrupt acts. You are not the only person who does it. We're getting to a state where in this nation we're looking at things very critically. And one of the things that would, you see, what goes around comes around. And sometimes when it is being done, nobody sees it. But you'll be very surprised. With time, you pay for it. And the sad thing is that you're not the only person who pays for it, but family and friends also pay for it. Poisonous profit. You don't need it. Avoid that chalice. Avoid that cup of profit. Because in the end, it doesn't only poison you, but poisons family and friends as well. Poisonous profit. See you later.